Yu Jing Zhang, who's charged with unlawful entry of a restricted building and making false statements, will remain behind bars. The 33-year-old Chinese woman walked into a court wearing shackles and a dark blue jumpsuit. She's accused of lying her way through two security checkpoints to gain access to Mar-a-Lago last month. The judge believes she poses an extreme risk of flight if released, citing her financial means and no connections to the United States. The judge also noted that the U.S. does not have an extradition treaty with China. On March 30th, federal investigators say Jang brought several electronics with her to Mar-a-Lago, including four cell phones, a computer, and a thumb drive. Originally, prosecutors said the thumb drive had malware on it, but in court today, they revealed it may have been a false positive. The defense argued that this was all a miscommunication and that if a Mandarin interpreter had been present at the first security checkpoint, none of this would have happened. Jang's attorneys said she believed she was attending an event that had been canceled without her knowledge. But prosecutors said Jang's WeChat messages from her cell phone prove that she knew the event was canceled two days before flying to the United States. The judge said the electronics found in Jang's hotel room, which included multiple USB and SIM cards, a hidden camera detector, and almost $8,000 in cash, appears to show that she was up to something nefarious when she tried to gain access to Mar-a-Lago.